Hey, Nas, just got your uh, message here, and I thought I'd send you a response by video. Maybe quicker, I don't know. I hope it will be. Would you pay taxes for a person who is not very smart and chooses not to get health insurance and then gets sick? Would you pay a fraction of their bills? So read your question. Now the first, I'll take the first question first, and the easy answer is no. No, I would not. Why would I pay for somebody that you don't even say they're poor, you just say they're not smart and they didn't get health insurance? Would I pay for somebody that wasn't smart and didn't have car insurance and then got into a wreck? Would I pay for somebody that didn't have house insurance, then their house burned down? How will people ever, why will people ever get insurance uh, if they didn't get insurance and then people stepped in and paid for their stuff? I don't expect people to take care of me for my bad decisions. If I smoke and get my lungs all black and have emphysema, would somebody pay for my emphysema bills? Even though I knew what I was doing could lead to the consequences that I'm currently uh, experiencing? So no. I would not pay taxes for a person who's not very smart and chooses not to get health insurance and then get sick. I would not pay for a fraction of their bills, no. Now the second question uh, takes the issue a little bit further, asking if the person was my brother. And I guess I see what you're trying to do there. You're trying to get me to think about this person as something, somebody that is much more personal, much more closely related to me and you're trying to get me to realize that every person out there that doesn't have health insurance is a brother of somebody, is the mother of somebody, is the father of somebody and so on and so forth and I understand that. But another big part of it is we're not talking about when you talk about universal health care you're not talking about the situation that you talk about here. Would I pay? Okay, I can choose would I pay or would I not pay. What universal health care does is it forces people to pay for these kind of people. If you want to operate on a voluntary basis, then you can ask this question and I can give you my answer. But universal health care forces people to pay for other people's health insurance costs regardless of the way they would answer this question. So morally and ethically that's a dilemma. You're forcing people to do something that they would rather not do. How is that any different from slavery? It's not. But on to the second question is if this person will not brother would I pay for him or I would I let him suffer? And you know that's, that's a very difficult question and requires some thought. Uh, but I can tell you uh, I would have compassion for my brother and uh, I might would step in and pay for his bills uh, even though he's made this bad decision but it'd be the same way as if I told my son to go to college when he graduates high school because he can get a better job that way and it's a smart thing to do in life and then he went and dropped out of college and he wound up with a lower paying job and then he needed help paying his bills. I might still help him pay his bills because he's my son, but on the other hand, in the big scheme of things, you have to ask yourself if you'd really be doing your son a favor uh, by not letting him learn the lesson in life that if you don't have a college degree, you're going to have a harder time in life. So I might give my son that money. I might give my brother money for his health insurance. But I can tell you the better response or the more effective response in getting these people to do 
the things that they should do in buying health insurance and going to college, for example, is to say no. You know, you've made a bad decision and I'm going to let you uh, endure the full consequences of that decision. So you realize that that in fact was a bad decision and that's a behavior that you need to steer away from. So you don't do anybody any favors even if you quote unquote alleviate the suffering. Uh, you don't do anybody favors by stepping in and correcting their bad mistakes. The other misnomer is that if people don't have insurance, they'll just sit there and suffer and die this horrible death. When in fact, people are seen in county hospitals and free hospitals and charity hospitals all the time and treated well, a very high level of care for their ailments. So it's not as if someone doesn't have insurance, they won't be taken care of. They're taken care of at ERs for sure. They're taken care of at free clinics. They're taken care of at charity hospitals and with Medicaid and Medicare. So a lot of different issues of this question I have a problem with, uh, but maybe that will give you a general outline of my feelings uh, on the matter.